you guys balance a romance and parenting? Hmm. Privacy. <laughs> well, we balance romance and privacy wrong. I mean. <laughs> To the Williams fam so today we are here with a Q&A for you guys sorry it's taken us so long to get this video finally done and out there blame it on Mr. Williams <laughs> okay, I didn't know, don't worry. well it is and COVID too because he didn't want to come on camera no, I'm here alone. so let's get this video started so the first question we have is it says um do you do you want any more kids do I or do you <laughs> It says, do you want, it doesn't matter, you, me, whatever. That, that, that is one, what do you say? Yes. So, do we want any more kids? Yeah. yeah. Later days. In the near future, um, the next question says, um, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Anywhere like here. Anywhere in the world, though. Jamaica yeah if I could live anywhere I would I would live in Jamaica yes. that's well I was born there so and that's always been my thing I'm to not giving home. up Jamaica for nowhere <laughs> so there is a question if we could live anywhere Jamaica Yaman that's our yeah. place it says is building a house in Jamaica expensive it can be if you're not doing anything like if you can't contribute to any work or any you know anything really if we do with the construction you know say it's pricey everywhere everywhere like we hire like um a contractor most people don't really use contractor to make and just use somebody which body and who can do the work and then just consider yourself as as for them contractor but you don't really have a license, license contractor for the work. You just find somebody who can do your work good, which part sometimes in Jamaica that hard to find. Exactly. Yeah. So, and it can so, get pricey on who. Yeah, does it, it all depends on who they work for your house. That's like me, you know, um, I would save a lot because I do a lot of work on mine. So, yeah. person who can do have a hands on and doing stuff on their own, like, they definitely will yeah. cost them a bit. So for us, it's not that pricey because Mario knows how to pretty much do everything. It's just the electrical part he doesn't touch. So everything else he nope. can do and it's just getting the manpower. So once you have that, then it's not so much when you have somebody that can do the work. So it's mostly like material you're spending money on. Yeah. So it, it, it can be pricey, but at the end of the day, you're building your dream home. You're building it to you're constructing it the way you want right and you're seeing the blueprint and you're well sometimes you're going to be there to see the process sometimes you're not but you know it's good to get somebody that you know and you trust yeah that can do it if you plan on building a house back home and make sure the person knows what they're doing whether that person might have a portfolio is good don't just hear say like oh that person does good work you need to be able to say okay well you need to show me what you did or you might know somebody says okay yeah that person i could vouch for him they've actually done or they come recommending highly recommended so if you're planning to build something back home, please do your research because there's a lot of people out there that say they can do stuff and when psh, your house lean up, you, <laughs> you go down there, you know, like it's not what you're looking for. So. And in Jamaica, like everybody have their own prices, like mm -hmm. everybody's price is not the same. Some, some people look for you as a friend and they can do a thing for you, you can definitely use them. Or sometimes... The friend thing, sometimes it even work out, but sometimes you say, alright, you're a friend and you don't give a work and you end up, you don't get the work done the way what you want, like, right? Yeah. So, sometimes I, you just stick to, like, person who 
know what they might do. And then they always say never mix business with pleasure, you know, or business with friendship or business with family. You keep your business separate, you have your separate contract, your family at the end of the day, you might have your fuss and fight, but you know, you always keep your, your friendship and your family stuff separate from business. That's where a lot of people make mistakes in life too. So the next question was, um, who is more likely to start an argument? Shanika. Really? 100%. <laughs> so, why, why is it always me? Am I wrong? Tell the myth me wrong. And talk it true. A talk it true, tell the myth me wrong. What was the, what, what's said, the reason for the argument? Hello, hello. <laughs> tell the people. What's the reason You're for the not, argument? No, no, no. Any kind of argument at all, tell them. Who we'll started? <laughs> Yes, I am I'm, I'm more outspoken and if I see something wrong, I can only I hold mean, it for so much. Yes, I mean, nothing wrong. What do you mean, Owen? Oh, nothing is wrong to you, but your Hello. view and my view is two different things. Yeah, right. And men typically view things differently from women. So, yes, it says who is more likely to make up? Me. Tell them the truth. Yeah, because you're first starting. You're yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so, because I'm, so I'm Mr. Artie, so no. I'm gonna make you up. You start and you start, you will conflict, so just come make up your back to me. At least, no. me, make, at least me leave, you make your make up your back. No, that's not right. right. So no, you start, you start no. arguing between me, you know, I'm mean, even run, come to you, come make up, I don't know, Mr. Artie. Wait a minute, you, 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 it's not about running, come. Anytime. It's about, sometimes it's about being the bigger person and admit when you're wrong, you're wrong. Well, I am a bigger person, so you admit. What? You want me to say wrong? Well, me always. If I'm wrong in a situation. Well, you're always wrong. No, me not always wrong. So you always right? You see your fears? All right. Go. You see how it goes? <laughs> it says, how do you guys balance a romance and parenting? Hmm. Privacy. <laughs> well, we <laughs> balance romance and parenting fine. <laughs> Oh man, we balance it fine. Um, like you say, you know, you spend time with the kids. Um, generally on weekends or Friday nights, we try to spend some time with the kids as much as possible because as you know, they're getting older. So whether we just take them out for ice cream, well, back in the days, go to the movies, which you can't do that no more. Yep. But now what we do, we sit at home, we watch movies. Like we'll have like a Friday night or a Saturday night where we pick out on um, popcorn, chips, like pop and we just our order in and we have a movie night we'll sit we'll stay up and watch movie for hours well so, these kids like they <laughs> love their privacy even more than me so we yeah. don't have no problem so then we really have them gadget and then we know them in the house so we don't have no problem yeah. with privacy sometimes we have to call them so yeah. then even here when you call them because exactly. they're so stuck in them gadget lock up in their room yeah so, so privacy too. is no problem. The only right? time we typically hear them is when they throw them down here fighting for or food. Or when, when they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah watch, fighting for food. What's for dinner. Or, or yeah, or when they're hungry. But even sometimes when what's for dinner, they, they'll just cook and bring us up something upstairs. So we do have our privacy. So yeah, that's that's never been a yeah, problem. Yeah, that's a privacy. It says, um, are you guys religious? Yes, I am. Yes, we are. we are religious. How is Mario coping since his mother's passing? Since my mom passed. Well, as you know, like my mom, like live in the states, and we're not like we talk on a regular basis on phone, but it's not like we see each other regular, like when we live in Jamaica. So sometimes I think of her still over there and. I'm just waiting for that phone call. But yeah. just the other day was her birthday. Sometimes um that, that's how it's I been. like by myself and I'm like, I can't believe my mom is really gone, like I'm not gonna see her again. And yeah. sometimes we just play back every moment. Yeah. And it's really hard, like Yeah. And we we yeah. glad for the few videos we actually have on our channel of her because I know they say a pitch a picture say a thousand words, but I say nothing more than like actually seeing a video of somebody. You're able to see her, we're able to hear her laugh, you know, see how mm -hmm. she was interacting with the kids. 
so even if later in the future we do have kids we can go back to our youtube video and be like you know there's her grandmother that's how she was you see her smiling you know you see her teeth her eyes how she was playful and joyful so yeah. those are the that's why i always say like videos it's always good to have whether you're a youtuber or not a youtuber just to have for that memories because pictures you can look at a person but you know you can't really physically like hear them see how their movement are like you know i find having video it says so much more you actually get to physically see that with a person like as i said like even with his mom passing i think sometimes it's it's hard to believe that she's gone because like mario said she was living in the states and she would generally call and would talk to her enough time i'd be like mario when last you talked to your mother call your mother like sometimes it slips me that she's gone like we um there's been time where i was like Oh Mario, when last I was like, oh shoot, and he's like, what? Miss he say, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna ask you when last you called your mom, but then I, it has to resonate in my head that she's gone because sometimes you know you go, you life is so busy. You, you know you're you're living in a country where it's yeah. the rat race. Even so. even over here, like I'm so busy. Like sometimes she even call me. Sometimes she even know what time to call me because sometimes mm -hmm. I'm, I'm nights, sometimes I'm Mondays. So sometimes she calls me when I'm asleep, I tell her, like, uh, I'm asleep. She said, okay, I'll call you back. Yeah. Right? So, it, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I'm here, yeah. um, going through her messages, like what she texts me and, yeah. right? Our, our advice notes, right? Yeah, so, so. And she always has cost me. <laughs> hey, my telephone, you answer me, boy. <laughs> so, and that's the good thing. And he has those, he has her voice notes and stuff mm -hmm. so that he can still hear her voice. And the good thing about it is, like, when we do go home, he can go and visit her grave any day. It's still gonna be so surreal because, you know, it's, we're not used to, we're used to sometimes going down. She's not there, she's in the state, same way. So, I think even going home is gonna feel like that only until the part until we actually go to go for, visit her grave or when everybody gets together to go do her um, headstone. That's when, you know, everything is going to. Yeah, because when, come we leave, back. when we leave here, so like, if we go, when, go back to Jamaica for a couple of weeks. We always plan less when we are down there, she's down there too. Yeah. So we always meet up, right? Yeah, and it was actually, it was only December, she couldn't come down. Because she was supposed to come, but she couldn't make it. So, and you know, and it just, it just so sad that she didn't come down. So we could have at least had that last memory with her. But, um, you know, she's just always there. She's always there in her heart, you know, yeah. through, through and through, she is, the image of your brothers and your siblings so you know there's always that so it says um if fate i give trouble in the pandemic how do you tend to negative comments and feedback on your channel shan don't take negative comments really good i'm just telling her just to load them alone they free to talk i'm just okay in my mind but negative comment but you see it's not about necessary negative comments and stuff some of the negative comments i know who is on my channel doing them and that's the funny thing because it comes from family and certain bad mind people me know where sit and watch out my videos and they comment on it but yet they can't come on youtube with their real name and their real picture they have to make a fake profile and they subs whether they subscribe to the channel and they sit behind the screen and hate like for me i could i could care less about hateful comments really to be honest with you because at the end of the day you're, you're still watching out my videos so if you i always say to people if you don't like something click off of it i don't see no reason for people to be hateful if it is something that you don't like click nobody's holding a gun to a person's head and say you need to watch this video you need to like it everybody has their own opinion like i say right a lot of times there's videos that i don't like and if i don't like it i'm not going to give it a thumbs down i'll just click off for that video but the funny thing is there's a lot of people that watch the video and the ones that don't like right are they just bad mind for no reason which we never know why people need to bad mind because at the end of the day until you've been in somebody's shoe you don't know what a person go through so for people to be like that, I never understand it. And for the people them that I do know that sit and they do watch my channel, and I won't say any names on here because I know you watch my channel. Like for me, 
it's easy i could block and delete right and youtube gives you that option and you can report so you you have those options right so for me like i don't really let the comments sometimes i, I read certain comments and i just laugh the ones them that gets to me is you see when you come for me that's different but when you come from my my kids them that's a whole different ball game right i'm a woman and a mother and a wife and a sister you know and a friend i protect my own and i'm very protective of my family as much as you we come on here and we show people our life and stuff and we're glad to show our life this is for us as well for our memory for our kids to see like when we pass on and gone so for people to come and like say bad things and like especially they talk about fate like i see some of them i see some of the comments and i was like at the end of the day when you guys see videos from us there is 24 hours in a day and to make a 20 second video or a 20 minute i mean a 20 minute video it can take like what 20 minutes out of our day to make that video so you guys we we show you guys what we want to show you bits and clips of our life you don't see the full effect of what is going on so this is why like for some of those people that sit there and they're growing people too well some of them they're in growing body but their mentality are kids so this is why like i sit and i literally like just just laugh because that's pretty much mario mario don't care mario like him say shan i just ignore them ignore them because at the end of the day whether you like the video you dislike it you watch it you don't watch it i'm still doing good i'm still smiling i'm still blessed <laughs> so you know and you can't let people that there I, I find i have more, more supporters more family more real family on here that support what we do and love what we do and love seeing our videos than the one two bad mind people that sit behind and type up them stuff and them talk and the worst thing is when they talk about a child you know how much that affect a child right you sit there and you talk and you you dis you you like you know disgrade a child like talk so bad about her like those are the things that boils my skin and yes sometimes i want to reply and say certain things but me say you know what let me hold my tongue because at the end of the day as like she's a 12 year old child what do you expect a 12 year old child to look like Snuff of them are wasted on and bad man same way behind the camera and talk stuff about my daughter probably can't even cook can't even wash them drawers can't even do certain things probably not even have a man probably all them are not packed with water and night so for me like i don't really sit and watch all of that but when you come for my kids trust me i i am i don't play with that and yes everybody always say but you you put your life out there yes we put our life out there to share with people right there's nothing wrong with putting your life out there to share with people and i've never been ashamed to share my life right there is certain that's why i said there's certain stories that i would love to sit down and talk to you guys about things i've experienced in my life just so it can even help and motivate other people out there that's been through the same thing as me or even worse than what i went through but i still managed to pull through all those hard times and i'm still doing good regardless of the hate and backlash i've gotten from whether it might be family and close friends that have stabbed me in my back you know and done things to me and i've helped so much people in my life but i would love to share certain stories with you guys but then when i think about it and i think about certain things it, it discouraged me from sharing certain things because i'm like are they gonna wanna sit and they're gonna nit pick a nit nit grid at everything? I had a story just like I sh shared a story and somebody I left I left a comment. I left a comment on under one of the things where somebody I talked about I think me being in an abusive relationship and then they're like your story don't add up. Trust me, if I would have actually sat down and told the story as how it panned out, trust me, y'all would have probably some people know that person and they probably would have ripped them a new so i leave certain things out because at the end of the day i'm not trying to fully bash anybody but i'm telling my side of the story right what inspired you to start um this youtube channel so what initially started me to start this youtube channel is as i say memories um i love going back i'm going back and just seeing where my family is coming from two three years ago so like sometimes i sit and i go back and i watch my videos and i was like mario you remember this oh my gosh you remember when you, when you just come to canada and yes it's sad because i didn't even vlog i was so happy i didn't even vlog i wasn't really vlogging those times i was just doing like um my hair videos and stuff like that 
And then when I started going to Jamaica, and I was like, you know what, Mario was like, why don't you start vlogging what we do in Jamaica? Like, start vlogging our life so we have something to remember. And that's when I fully started vlogging was when 2018, when we went to Jamaica. And then I just started like a little bit. I wasn't so that's basically how the channel got started. And then I love doing it, and the kids them love it because they go back and they watch from when fate was this tiny now she's a little bit bigger <laughs> and then she's like you know even um was it in 2018 their thanks thanksgiving video the video that she and Risa made look how tiny they were in that video and look at them now so those are the things that we just we love going back and seeing and just watching our growth and where we're coming from to where we are now and where we are about to go with the grace of god and putting him first i know we will get very far in life because I have faith and I, I believe like you know anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it um, so it says what are you guys looking forward to most after this pandemic everything go back to normal and that's gonna be a good while yeah to what you're hearing like it's gonna take a good while yeah and you just gonna have to make the best of it are at least what we consider normal anyways we're hoping that it goes back just to be able to live life and it's so crazy like the pandemic make you really think like you know like it you just feel trapped yeah like, that's it, what the pandemic kind of sets you back in everything that you're doing yeah but any plans for jamaica after things calm down you guys are just gonna have to wait and see but definitely yeah I think you can wait till everything calm down because yeah. that's not gonna happen anytime soon. No, so, so but it's definitely plan around it and do what you have exactly. To do it. It, somebody says, how far is the house process in Jamaica? How far is the house process? Well, where we last left off in the Jamaican vlog. Mm -hmm, that's where it is. No, actually, no, it's further than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's oh further. yeah, that guy exactly. is doing some work on it. So it's further than where we left off, but not as far because yeah. pretty much where we left pandemic happened so things got on a halt um question what do you, the two of you do for living in canada well mr williams here he does he's a construction worker so he works in a construction working field so the skill field i'm also a skill worker but um i'm currently well school taking a break but currently in school and I have my other side hustles that I do and other way other means to make money so that is what um, we do for now so somebody asks when you guys was planning on getting married um, did you get a marriage license from Canada or Jamaica uh, we got our marriage license in Jamaica and I didn't have to do any any of that because where we got married um, the wedding planner that I had they did everything so we just basically had to make sure we sent the papers, everything that they needed, and they did all of that. Everything. Eh? So all we have to do is a show yeah. up. So if you're planning on getting married in Jamaica, you can have your spouse do whatever you need to do, whatever paperwork you need to send to get it that way. Um, so that's pretty much it. So that is all the question, guys. I hope you guys like this Q and A. Sorry for being so late, but. They say better late than never, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend that come over to the Williams family where we share our life with you guys. Um, and we have lots of fun over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace, guys. First, I know this is really love. Cause we able to feel the love We need more than a single Is it too soon to say I love you Cause girl I do I know those words are few I'll show you Cause everybody needs somebody